Rising cases, full hospitals, and now growing alarm. That's what Wisconsin health leaders are seeing as the state is failing to control COVID-19. Today, setting a new single day record for positive cases. I am concerned about the alarming trends of COVID-19 we're seeing across our state. That's why Governor Tony Evers today issued an emergency order allowing out-of-state health care workers to practice in Wisconsin, saying the state needs more help. Already, hospitals across the state are quickly filling up, and there's growing worry they'll soon be overwhelmed. Handling COVID in ICU beds on ventilators and having the death rate that we had yesterday is not the answer to the problem. Health leaders say the answer is masks, distancing, and staying home, with Evers urging his state to be more cautious. He says while college towns like Green Bay, Madison, and La Crosse are hot spots, Wisconsin has both campus spread and community spread. The state has eight of the nation's top 20 outbreaks. It is stretching our hospital capacity, and it is overwhelming our public health infrastructure. We must take action. And state leaders say it can't wait. Half of Wisconsin's counties show COVID case numbers are still sharply rising and say stopping it will take everyone statewide. At the end of the day, we all know it. It comes down to individuals believing that this virus is serious. And uh, it is serious. Janelle Klein, CARE 11 News. A change of plans from President Trump today. He will not visit La Crosse Saturday, but is still scheduled to campaign in Green Bay and now in Janesville. La Crosse's mayor and the governor asked the president to not hold rallies in the areas due to high COVID cases. And today, two Wisconsin doctors also spoke out. He's supposed to enact public policy that improves the health of all of us, that keeps us safe and not endangers us. But it's clear that the president of the United States is willing to hold political rallies because he thinks it'll be good for his politics, even if it's bad for the people of Wisconsin. And I'm just tired of that. Late this afternoon, the director of the La Crosse Airport said the Saturday event was canceled due to a lease issue, not concerns over COVID. Here in Minnesota,